For today's activity, I'm going to be teaching you how to fingerprint someone. Brandon is going to be helping us out. I'm going to be placing his inked fingerprints on a 10 print card. So uh, it's easiest if we actually take the card and we move it to the edge of the table. You can see there's a line under where it has labeled for the right hand. And if you can just do a crease on that line, it's a lot easier to fingerprint that way. So what I'm going to do is have Brandon give me his right hand. I'm going to start with his right thumb. I'm going to ink his right thumb. Now, when you ink a person's fingers, what we want to do, we don't want to get too much ink. You want to get just the right amount. And you want to make sure that your ink covers not just the center, but the entire side. Because we're not just going to be pushing the print straight down. At first, we're going to be rolling it so we get more detail. So I'm just going to gently roll Brandon's finger, gentle pressure, and if your card comes up a little bit, that's okay. A lot of times when you're fingerprinting in the jail, they have a nice black box you can lock the card into. But we just have it on the edge of the table, so if it moves, that's fine. Again, ink all the way around, and we're just going to slowly and gently roll. You might not always just be printing someone who's living, you might be printing someone at an autopsy. I actually find it easier to fingerprint people at autopsies because a lot of times living people will try to help you out a little too much. And if you apply too much pressure, your print might be smudged. Remember when we're looking at fingerprints, and we'll be looking at those at a different time, we're looking at very small details in the print. So we want just the right amount of pressure so we can see those details clearly. On your 10 print card, the spaces for the fingers are actually numbered and your right thumb is number one. It goes to number five, which would be your right pinky. We then go to number six, which would be your left thumb. So we're going to move on to fingerprint his left hand now. I'm going to do that same crease just because it's easier for me with the card on the edge of the table. So we have Brandon's left thumb and we're going to apply some ink. And then again, gentle pressure and rolling to get the sides and center. You look at the bottom of your 10 print card, you can see there's some larger spaces. This space on the bottom right is actually for your left four fingers the left thumb, right thumb, and the right four fingers. And unlike the top ones where we rolled, I'm going to ink Brandon's fingers. I want a little bit more ink, not just the tips, but some down at the bottom, and we're gonna go straight down. So I'll take his right four fingers, and again, I want ink not just on the tips of the fingers this time, but more on the finger itself. So we'll get a little bit more ink. And you can see we have ink further down on the fingers this time. And again, we're just going to go straight down. And I am going to apply some gentle pressure. And then straight up. And again with the thumb. Not just on the tip, but a little more down. And we switch to the left hand. And you can see this is our completed 10 print card.